Oh. Sorry about that horrid noise. Hello, everyone. Happy Tuesday. Uh, it's a pretty, pretty good Tuesday to be a gamer, I suppose, considering that there was the Nintendo Direct as well as the Sony State of Play today. So lots of announcements, lots of lots of cool things like that. Uh, what I have for you today is uh, we're going to play Ring Fit, obviously. That is what we do. And then to its right, you can probably see that I'm downloading something. And uh, we'll see if that finishes by the time we have finished playing Ring Fit. If it has, then we'll go out and play it. Otherwise, uh, I'm going to play Aegis Run. Because I've beaten the story mode of it and unlocked some, some extra fights and those kind of things. So we're going to do that. But most likely, I think the demo will be complete. And so we'll check that out and see what it's all about. Because it sounded kind of interesting. RPG farm game with a mix of combat and a season of death. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Uh, but yeah, welcome. So I hope, hope you're all ready to enjoy some, some ring action. I am. Um, I'm also looking forward to, you know, okay, so let me rewind. So as I said, the direct was today, right? And uh, one of the first things I heard, because I, I couldn't actually watch it live. But that's a good day. Um, but I was kind of trying to listen to in between meetings. And uh, there's DLC for fitness boxing, so that got me excited. Do you ever think back to when you first started exercising? Have the various exercises we do gotten any easier for you? Yeah. Sometimes your body gets used to exercises that call a up. They really want me to change my difficulty level, don't they? I'm not gonna do it. Keep your posture straight. We've been through that already. Three, two, one, go! Alternate bringing your knees up to touch the but yeah, um, There's DLC for Fitness this Boxing 2 with Fist of the North and Star. And <laughs> uh, they're adding a new Last battle time. mode in, which is funny because I was literally like thinking that. about that earlier Next today, like after I did my, uh, Bring after I did my thing, um, Breathe out I heard my exercise for the day. I was thinking, like, it'd be cool if like when you punched and stuff, like Last if you got time. to like, Eat up enemies, right. or when you dodge, you dodge their, their attacks or stuff Next like that. Is the and then they added this, the DLC Take gets announced for uh, and drop your hips. fitness boxing with the North Star and whatnot. Don't let your knees. <laughs> and they have that in it called battle mode. So that that was pretty cool. I'm looking forward to grabbing that. Make sure your toes are pointed straight Oops. ahead of you. Also, hello, Switch Boy. Uh, no, I don't have any plans to play Hollow Cure today. I have two other things that I have ideas for depending on which one downloads first yes looking great i did watch the uh the state Final. of play as well for Spread playstation i just haven't gotten around to chatting about it yet Raise the ring talking about the direct first and considering it had a fitness related game in it Be um sure to keep your lower back straight. fire emblem looks all right i guess i've never actually Has played a fire emblem game begin to lean so you know i've only really interacted with Let's fire emblem through super smash Bros. Also, hello, turtle stickers. They're finally job. localizing Yakuza Ishin. I can think of some more. I saw the, the, I saw the Ishin. I saw that. And like, when I saw the Ryuga Gotoku studio, I was like, wait, Yakuza? In, in the Meiji era? What is this? And that looks pretty fun. Uh, but I don't know if it's exclusive for PlayStation or not, because I won't be playing it if it is, because I don't have a PS4 or 5. 100 and nice, yes! But yeah, uh, if you... I feel silly saying this. If you follow me on Twitter, you'll probably know that I already kind of looked through... Or I, I like, I didn't live tweet it because I didn't watch it live. But I did like, watch it after work and then kind of tweet a little thread while I, uh, while I did it. 
So if you've looked at that, you already know what I think about the Direct. But uh, yeah, there's there's a new Ryza game, which is cool. Oh wait, this is... Uh, there's a new Ryza game, which is pretty neat, because uh, I still haven't finished the first one. Ooh. This, this feels bad. Ready? Go! I'm pushing in like decently hard and it's, it's not coming out. Alright. Hold on. Let's, let's try to get this done. Sorry. I will, I will look over and, and read the messages I'm missing in chat in a second. Ooh, boy, that was too much. It's a little bulby on the bottom, right? Like, like oh god, like, get, get, get some of that down. Alright, alright. Uh, gotta... Gotta pull it up. <laughs> this is so bad. Oh, it's so fat now. Make it stop. Oh, oh god. Okay, maybe, maybe... This is... You know what? That's as close as it's getting. <laughs> it is an exclusive. Kind of PC as well. Okay. All right, in that case, then I might might actually go to play it. Wow, I got an 81 for that? Wow. <laughs> that is way better than I thought. <laughs> oh, boy. Wow, congrats. Here's your bonus you got by one point. Oh, that's good. Um, yeah. Pikmin 4 getting announced is kind of exciting. We didn't see anything for it. Like, there wasn't any gameplay or anything like that, there was just what Miyamoto mentioned. That you'll, like, the camera will be closer to ground level with Pikmin, or something. But I haven't played a Pikmin since the very first one. So I hope, I hope it will be good. Hopefully, hopefully good for, for us weirdos who, who never really played the second or third one. I think I played the demo of the second one at one point, and I wasn't like super into it because it wasn't quite the same. Like, Ready? the deadliness. Go! The deadliness of the first Pikmin game and like how hard it was to actually win and such. Like, that's what I remember. Not that I always want things to be super hard to win, but... Pikmin was a survival game at its heart. And also like the cycle of life. Really good game though, if you never played the original. Ugh. But um, what else was in the direct, can we think? Um, there's the Pikmin game. Pikmin Bloom was mentioned as a fake out for it, basically. Um, obviously Breath of the Wild, the trailer that they showed, showed some interesting some interesting stuff in it, I guess. Like, kind of felt there was some like aspects of Twilight Princess floating around in there. It looked like so that's interesting, and definitely some Skyward Sword influence and a giant floating thingy to use to uh, to fly through the sky, maybe. Goldeneye, yep, the N64 stuff. The uh, the N64 stuff. I don't have the Switch Online thing because I don't feel like paying twenty five dollars a month for games that I own back at my parents' house. But uh, 1080 snowboarding, that that got me excited a little bit. Because 1080 is, 1080 was a really fun game that I played a lot of as a kid. It was kind of my go-to for like not really doing anything. Because like Smash Brothers is only so good when you don't have other people to play with, like if my brother or my sisters were gone. But 1080 was, was always there. Not a bad guide policy, get way out in front of the person you're guiding. Not saying that because this place gives me the willies, I just uh, don't want us to fall behind. Come on, let's go! Okay. Uh, let me drink some water real quick because all this talking. Oh, that's tight. Oh, I was mentioning Ryza. Um, yeah, Atoria Ryza. I, I still need to beat the, uh, the, the first one. And then buy the second one, which I think is on sale right now on Steam. Or it was this weekend for like 50% off. Um, uh, 
Um, I don't know what to swap in or out. We could swap the plank, maybe? Well, I feel like that's an actually challenging move, so I want to keep it. I want to get some challenge in my life, you know? Let's do this instead of the... Um... Actually, everything's kind of weak. God. My leg moves. I, I need better leg moves. They don't do enough damage. Rise is on set right now. Okay. I know I, I got an email this weekend that was like 50% off, and I was like, oh man, I should buy that, except I haven't finished the first game still. Because it puts me to sleep. Like, not, and I, I don't mean it's a boring game. The, um, the music in it is super relaxing and super nice. And I used to play it, like, before bedtime. Like, after I finished streaming, I'd, like, go up and be like, all right, time to do some alchemy and fall asleep. And so I got so used to falling asleep, holding a controller, listening to the background music, that, like a Pavlovian dog, when I hear the background music, it just, like, instantly starts putting me out. <laughs> It is a good game, though. Um, and it was cool to watch the trailer for Rise of 3 and see, like, Lent and other people, like, kind of grown up. So it's good to know that they, you know, progress in their in their roles and everything. But they are fun games. I really... I gotta install it. Maybe now that I'm done playing... Um, maybe now that I'm done playing... Uh, 13 Sentinels Aegis Rim in my off time. I'll uh, I'll reinstall it and then do my okay, best on that. We'll see. Out when you close your legs. Have uh, you played the Rise of Games? Well done. Or any Atoria games, Amazing. I suppose. But. Nice. They're fun. They're, uh, they're the endless Fantastic. side quest games of like, oh, I need oh, this. But oh, no, I need this. And I can make this a little bit better and then use this okay. in this recipe. And they're, they're just a lot of fun. And they're very cute. Nice. Uh, so, you're the first. Nice. I'll suck play. Perfect. It's a good game. Yeah. I remember, um, weirdly enough, the motivating factor for me to buy it finally, because like, I saw it and was interested in it and whatnot, but then wasn't sure if I really wanted to get into something with like a deep tracking system, sort of, as it were. Let's keep going. The, the weirdest thing was that the reason okay. why I ended up like actually Fantastic. going through buying it, installing it, and playing it was I watched the performance. Um, you got it. I watched a performance okay. review of it that like compared the PC you version to up. the Switch version to the up. other versions. And, like the dude went through all sorts of different settings and like how you make it run nicely or not and all these other things. And it was like a really fascinating video about like what different pocket. settings in graphics settings, like effect quality and frame rate and everything else. And I don't know, something about it just made me be like, man, I gotta play this game. Lucky break. Okay, let's oh, like this. Uh, yeah, let's, let's do some leg like, scissors, that'd be fun. Um, what else? I'm trying to think. Besides the game that I'm downloading right, the demo of right now, while we do this, um, I don't think what else there is on the direct. Cross your legs firmly. Yeah, no go, graphic setting. Go, well, the funny go, thing is that go, 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 is that Ryza doesn't even have one. Like it does, but it's like in the preloader for the game. Like it's not actually in the game. You have to set the settings through like the config loader. So it's kind of a pain in the ass, Uno. but like, I don't know. Uno. It was just a really good video. I should try to find it. It was like a, it was like performance comparison for Ryza. No I wonder if I can... Ryza... Performance... Uh... Not that one. Oh, it doesn't pop up right away, but... I have to... Anyway, we're exercising. Let's not get distracted. Too much, anyway. Keep squeezing. But yeah, like it's just a, it's a cute game. And like Ryza herself is a really sweet character, so kind of nice. All right, this guy's probably gonna die before we do all of our planks. So let's let's do this. I believe in us. Okay, 
let's go. Try this to work your core. Okay. Nicely done. All right. Fantastic. Pillows are getting in the way here. Neat. But that's okay. I only had to do three. Oof. Tough one. Um, let me, uh... Sorry, I just need to, like... Nintendo Direct. I just want to pull up that, uh... That comment that had every game listed. I'm forgetting them, I'm sure. So... Because my memory is garbage. Ooh. Oh, yeah, the Rune Factory games. Um, I've never played one. But they look kind of fun. Kind of. But not not my first choice. You'll go faster the up the stairs. Let's see. Raise your knees up high. Oh, wow. I can't believe I nearly forgot that one. Um, Harvest Moon, which I guess we're calling it by the, uh, the Japanese name now, probably for licensing reasons. Story of Seasons, also known as Harvest Moon, A Wonderful Life. I played that on the GameCube back in the day. And uh, those are those are really fun games. Yay! I don't think I ever like beat it, quote unquote. Like I don't think I ever died. I guess I did marry whoever the best girl was. I forget which one that was, but I did marry a cute girl, and you know have a little baby that wandered around the farm, doing silly cute farm things. But I remember it being a good time. And if you've never played a Harvest Moon game before, I feel like that one, uh, that one's pretty easy to get into. And slowly. Even has weird little gnome creatures. This is good for working. But uh, yeah, that and um, Tunic. I've been wanting to play Tunic for a little while, but I haven't really had the time. I'm probably not going to buy it on the Switch, if I'm being honest. I would probably buy it for, on Steam instead, just because it would be easier to stream. But I don't know. You made it. Stand up. No need to rush, though. But I have heard really good things about Tunic, and I haven't really been spoiled on it either, Let's which is good. Squeeze. And they have four attacks. Yeah, I already mentioned the fitness boxing Fist of the North Star thing, which was probably, honestly, like, my number one buy out of this whole direct besides, you know, Zelda. Um... Oh, I nearly forgot. It's a good thing that I pulled up this, uh, list of what came out, honestly. I don't have anything that's, like... Only my boat pose gets all five of them. Huh? Let's do leg scissors and do this. Um, but yeah, where is it? I just, I just saw it. Cross your legs. Oh, whoops. Ooh. Forgot what we were doing. All right, theater rhythm. Theater rhythm final bar line. That's the name of it. Um, that was a really random game. Like, all of a sudden, there are tiny little chibi characters, and them saying, it's like, and look, Final Fantasy XIV music, and Final Fantasy VII, and every other Final Fantasy game, and look, live alive music. Like, all the hits. All the hits from all the RPGs. And, uh, I have never heard of theater rhythm before. I have to assume that it's, like, kind of similar to, uh, Crypt of the Necrodancer. Like, I assume it's an indie game that managed to get, like, lots of love, because it was good, maybe? I don't know, I could be wrong. But, like, 500-something songs, it sounds like in, like, a DMCA waiting to happen, but it's pretty cute. It seems like it'd be a really fun game for someone to, like, get on a, kind of, like, Christmas or something, just spend time enjoying themselves with. You know, like an easy game to play like when you're traveling or something. Okay, let's move. Um, and then Fine work. I've never played a rabbits game. Great. 
Yellow Square has played Rabbids games and he loves them and I've watched him stream it. Nice. I don't think it's my cup of tea as far as gameplay goes, but I do like how wacky and bizarre it is. But there's new Rabbids coming, so that's never going away. Then they're like weird ass faces. Like Rabbit Peach is just so disturbing looking. And she's got the hots from Mario. Right. It's awful. It like ain't nobody needs to see okay. that. Fantastic. Very nice. Great. Let's pick up the pace. Yeah. It would be cool if um Great. if the N64 updates that they do, like how they're bringing Pokemon Stadium Great. and Stadium 2 and those wow. games over. It would be okay. really cool Let's if they managed to make those online. Because playing okay. Pokemon Stadium like with friends, you know, who I can't really get into the same room would be pretty neat. So I somehow okay. doubt that they'll actually go the extra mile for it, because Nintendo is not good at online play. Like, their netcode is not good. I, I don't think there's any mincing of words there. But you get a, you get someone with like an internet connection out of like South Africa, and you're fucked. Like, congratulations, everyone who's in lockstep with Mr. 3000 King. Yes. Yes. It's not gonna be a good time. Amazing! Great! Excellent! Increase your pace! I was somewhat good surprised job. to see Factorio make its appearance nice. on Switch though. Because Eight. like good job. the Switch is good, okay. but it's not Excellent. a powerhouse of performance by any stretch of the imagination. And uh, it does chug when there's a lot of things on the screen. Like, I saw that during the final mission of 13 Sentinels 80's run. Um, saw it in like the demos of uh, Warrior, Hyrule Warriors, Age of Calamity. Like, it, it chugs a bit when it doesn't uh, have too much. And like, Factorio is kind of all about having too much crap on the screen at once, you know? Let your lower back fall so your knees don't go too far forward. Well done! Nice improvement! So I'm surprised to see it there, but... I mean, and, uh, you know, anyone who watched, watched the stream or the oh. archives knows that I played the Factorio demo before and thought it was really cool, but also thought it was too much like work. So, it's not... You, you won't see me playing it anytime soon. Um... It's a really cool game, not my thing. Now turn your exercise into experience points with a victory pose. But maybe even more surprising than like, but don't you know, performance yourself. things like Factorio or like N64 stuff or, or what have you is uh, the fact that Ib, Lightly Ib is gonna be on the Switch. With the pad of your right thumb as shown. Like, I think that should give anyone who does indie development, like, Please great amounts of hopes. Phone. You know? Like, Ib is pretty famous, but it's also like, when you play it, you're like, yeah, this is an RPG Maker game. You can tell. It's still a good game. It's got a spookiness to it. But, uh, it's definitely one of those. And to see it, you know, have the success that it has, and make it onto the Switch as an indie house, is still pretty cool. Um, should we do the monster battle? The other thing. Let's do, um... Do this one first. Okay, let's select That's a lot of hoplin. I'm gonna... I'm gonna go for the one on the edge. With my most powerful technique. Actually, I don't know if this... This is the tree pose. I actually don't know which one is more powerful. Slowly return to the starting you can do it! Hold him. I've only gone through like half the list of games on the Direct. But, uh... Curious what everyone's favorite part was if you actually watched it. Okay, let's switch sides. Don't forget to switch legs. I do like it when they announce them having demos. That's that's the thing that kind of makes me excited, because it's like, oh, I can actually go try it out and see what it's like. 
and uh, see if it's good or not. So, um, I can tell you right now that I will very, very likely not be playing Octo Patch Traveler 2. I own the first one. I've actually streamed parts of it before. Uh, I got really bored of it. It's a good game, but um, the decision to like start every character at level one, and then you kind of having to like grind them up whenever you started a new person's chapter or whatnot, was not fun. Fuck you, Hoplin. The tic tac's pretty good. Um, oh, actually, die press is my most powerful thing. Huh. Uh, let's do the laces. Oof. But yeah, um, let's see what else. What I thought I mentioned yet, of course. Worth mentioning. Um, Harvestella, we'll talk about later because I'm downloading the demo right now. And I'll play that after this, if it's done. Um, Rain Code looks kind of interesting. I've never played the Dongan Ropa games. I've only heard good things about them though, generally speaking. But we'll see. It looks like it's probably a pretty long game, so maybe not my thing. Uh, Crisis Core Final Fantasy VII Reunion looks good to me because I never got to play Crisis Core. I didn't have a phone that could play it. Or a PSP? I forgot what it was on. So that that will be there is cool. You can feel it in your I have absolutely zero interest in um, Resident Evil Cloud crap. Because I, I don't care for cloud streaming. Uh, let's... Let's try the pack. I might regret this. We'll see. All right, here we go. Okay, let's go. Don't lower your glutes so much that your lower back bends. All right. Excellent. Excellent. Good job. Wonderful. Great. Fantastic. Nicely done! Very nice! Perfect! Nice! Amazing! Okay! Ten more! Ten more! Neat! Halfway! Great! Let's pick up the pace! Okay! Neat! You got it! Good job! Five more! Alright! Great! Three! Keep it up! Nice! One left! Okay! You oh. made it! Good! That'll keep you going! And they're both still alive. Alright. Be that way. Uh... We could do the kickback. I haven't done this one yet. Okay, let's move. All right, ball in your armpit. Well done. That's one of the hints they give you. Think about having a ball and squeezing a ball in your armpit. Fine work. Amazing. Yes. Yes. Nice. Great. Sharp. There you go. Look at that, we're halfway there with the what calories. Amazing. Too bad one of the Hoplins got away though. They're worth good money, those guys. Alright, uh. Level 161, huh? Leg rush, mono times. I'd like to get this. I think I'm, I'm going to save up for that because I really do like the knee lifts. And those are pretty fun. So. 
Alright, welcome to the battle gym. Uh... Yeah, alright. It says it will take eight minutes, I don't believe it for a second. It's probably gonna take longer than that. Alright, green, dark flamingo. Right. Let's try a boat pose. Also, uh, before we do that, make sure you're hydrated. Because we did just finish, you know, finish a fight, so might as well. Alright, oh, time, here we go. Then slowly. Slowly return to the starting. Also, uh, nice to go back from that. Uh, even though I do not plan to play Hollow Care tonight, I did, however, see Okayu play it on stream a while ago, where she played with her own character. She played with herself, as it were. And uh, she was adorable. I, I took a picture. I took a picture of her. I'll show it to you. You made it. Stand up. No need to rush, though. Look! Look at this. Look at this adorable little cat. Look at her. Is is she not precious? Here, let's let's put her in the corner. There we go. She'll she'll, she'll stay there. Excuse me. Ah. You should feel it in your stomach when you breathe out. Okay, let's select the skill. All right, let's uh, let's hit him with uh, with uh, with the squat. Okay, let's go. Down. Put them butt back. Speaking of ass. Let your lower back fall so your knees don't go too far forward. Speaking of ass. Uh, <laughs> a friend of mine recommended a uh, new manga for me to read. God damn. Called Kurogal Gakuru. Which is uh, roughly translates to black gal is coming. With the controls, press the plus. Um, a cruel gal is just like you know a very tan gal. Also, what is going on? You know, stop, stop it, stop it. Something's off with the with this. Oh, that's, there we go. That's that's better. Just need to be adjusted. Um, but it's really cute. There's only 19 yeah. chapters of it translated right now because it's a uh, there's just one dude fan translating it right now. But it's very cute. Um, in the same way, Increase your pace. it's kind of similar to uh, oh god, it's in the other room. I have 10 volumes of it. Well done. What is the name of that one? The gal and the and the home ec teacher. Excellent. It's all about cooking. Also, this thing is fucking up again. Okay, five more. Yes, yeah. Good. Those are really bad squats. Like, that was not good. Um. Do it on this guy. Wow, I am, I'm, I'm, I'm mad at myself right now. It's, it's a good series. Uh, Be sure to keep yourself fuck. Steady. What, is, what is the name of it? It's. Slowly return. It's so good.
Okay, let's go. <laughs> Gal Gohan. That's what it is. Um, <laughs> it is a very similar feeling as Gal Gohan, except that rather than having it be a student and the teacher, who's kind of the main romance bit, it's, uh, it's an office worker and the random girl he runs into. Like I said, it's only like 19 chapters in, so it hasn't really gone too far. But it's wholesome so far. It's got that youthful innocence and happiness to it that I like in, uh, in rom-com gal stuff. So, it's good. It was a good recommend from a friend. Keep going. Select a skill. Uh, wait, that thing's red? Tricep <laughs> king. Garnet, I guess. That makes sense. Okay, let's go. Raise the ring card. Neat. Amazing. Okay. That was good stuff. Anyway, um... Sorry. Good job. Back a bit. Awesome. The, um... The Sifu game, All where right. you play as a fighter, and every time you fail, you gain, in, like, a year in age. Work and become an old dude who fights or something like that. Excellent. It reminded me of the prequel to... Keep it up. Fuck. Wow, well my, my brain's not working today. Amazing. Blast... No, not Blast Runner. Nice. Um, nice. Fuck, it's a three-player game, third-person shooter. Great. It has a prequel that was VR, but also okay. is on Steam called, like, Chrono something. Come on. It up. Okay. One left. Wow. Right I can't on. believe I can't remember the names of these things okay, right now. Okay, let's switch sides. Ashes. Uh. Okay, let's run out of the ashes or. Hold your grip as firmly as you uh, yes. Yes. Something of the ashes. Wonderful. Huh. Anyway, well the the prequel game. Nicely done. It's the one that I played before, the three-player co-op game, where you uh, go beat up evil okay. tree people. Basically, um, good job. It was very similar, I guess, in the Great. age mechanic. Nice. Remnant from the Ashes. That's what it is. Okay. Remnant from the Ashes Wonderful. is the game I've played before. The prequel to that one, nice. whose name I forget, has a very similar age mechanic very as nice. Sifu, except Fantastic. that in the Chrono whatever one, the Fantastic. prequel to Remnant from the Ashes. Pick up when you're when you're young, you have an affinity for physical stuff and like fighting All that right. way. And as you get Three. older, your affinities swap more towards magic. Neat. So that had a more interesting combat Very system. Nice. Well, Sifu seems like you nice. learn new abilities whenever you die. So it's basically like hard, super hard mode becomes easy mode as you keep playing and fucking up. So it'll probably be perfect for game journalists. Don't spit on me. Yellow attack power reduced, but red skill increased. Don't push it. He Take just he wants to die. That's that's what he's doing. He wants to die. He's powering up something that he's at a disadvantage. Okay, let's to. go. Focus on your chest muscles and press in. Mind work. Look at that. Yes. He gains. Yes. He gains thirty percent more damage than the other guy. Um, oh, there's one that I meant to talk about. Again, really happy that I pulled up the list. Tales of Symphonia. Tales of Symphonia is getting a remaster, and I love that game. I adore that game. Played so much of it as a kid. Would borrow it from my friends to play it because I didn't actually own it. But I would borrow it from my friends. Um, it was so good. And like, it was actually right. on my mind this past July when Anime Boston okay. was. Excellent. I think that was July. Anyway, Very whenever nice. Anime Boston was, when I went down there with my friend to it, the way that we patched the knights there was that we put on Tales of Symphonia, the cut, the movie, which is all the cutscenes, which is like three days long on YouTube. And we just had it playing while we fell asleep. 
But like before we did that, and before we decided to watch like the movie version of it, we um, we were just like trying to recall the story and like describe what happened throughout the entire game. And it was so much fun. <laughs> it was like um, it was like a game of my drunk history, basically. But it's like my drunk RPG story. No need to rush, though. There's an idea for a YouTube channel. I would love to see a my drunk YouTube. A my drunk gaming for Xeno Saga. One, two, and three. That would be absolutely amazing. Because that game is just something else. But you can do it. scissors. Do some more leg scissors. I feel like this is my my go-to today. I'm, I'm feeling the leg scissors. Cross your legs Yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, it's time to do the um, the bicycle kick, maybe? Rush. Yep. Pedal rush. Here we go. By face up and extend your legs. Great. This will focus on your weight. the boat pose. damage all around to them. Maybe we'll do a red move on the middle next. Oh god, all five are attacking. Dumbbells that you left. And go side chest all. Nice. Ooh. Awesome. Me. Amazing. Okay. If you've never watched that anime, highly recommend it. Very nice. How heavy are the dumbbells that you lift? Excellent. It's so good. Keep it up. The manga's good too. Oh, but the anime especially, yeah. it really like. It hammers in the ridiculousness of uh, the trainers in it. It's just great. Balls are back up now. Oh no! Select the skill and good luck. My press. Kill it. Get out of here. Thing that calls people. Okay, let's move. Careful not to drop the ring time. Great! Got a lot of uh Good job. 
Got a lot of air in me right now. I keep burping. I, I don't think you can hear, which is good. I'm trying to keep it quiet, but I had um I had those frozen taquitos for dinner today that you get in like the 20 packs. I had seven of them. They're good. Uh, and I love those things. But for whatever reason today they're just like getting at me. No need to rush though. But yeah, today I had cereal for breakfast with a, a half cup of milk and then like three cups of tea. Then I had two chicken breasts for lunch. Defense power. Oh. Um. Then I had those two chicken breasts. Another like four cups of tea, and then uh, and then the taquitos for dinner. Oh, and an ice cream sandwich. Because after I had the chicken breast for lunch, I was like, man, an ice cream sandwich sounds really good. And then decided to wait until dinner to make sure I really wanted it. And I did, and it was perfect. Like after after a bunch of nice okay, hot taquitos. Don't forget Biting into that ice cream sandwich is wonderful. Slowly twist to the right. You can do it. Slowly return to the starting. Take that. One more. One more enemy in this round. Uh, I don't know what to do against this guy. Maybe... Oh, we haven't done the ring rose combo at all. Let's, let's do this. Let's see how far we get with this. Move super energetic! You can do these in your chair, probably. It's like raising your arms up and down. Get a little bit of exercise in while you watch something on your computer. Feel a little less sedentary for a moment. That's what I try to do. I try to feel less like I'm just a sack of potatoes hanging out doing nothing all the time. But that is generally what I do. <laughs> Do some spins. Okay, let's go. Put your butt out. Booty out. Great! Excellent. Good job. There we go. These squats are going better than the ones before. They actually seem to be doing damage. Few more. Nice. Fantastic. Got him. All right, last round. Here we go. I mean, we could do the tree pose. Tree pose. All right. Try this again. Bend to the left. Perfect. Lower a little more. Fully extend your spine. Bend a little more. So hard. Like. Oh, I okay. like the 
France. Switch sides. Like the inside of my leg. leg. See, place your right foot on your left thigh, but then in one of the tips, does it say not to touch? Slowly return to the starting position. This should work your lower body. Mixed messages here. Ooh. Trying to keep my balance with my foot. You're moving. Good. Oh, Stay focused. No. Good. That'll keep you going. I totally screwed up the last one. Okay. Uh, let's do something that will let my my unhappy leg now relax a little. Let's beat up our muscles in our core instead. Come on. Okay, let's move. Don't support too much body weight with your arms and shoulders. Okay. Well done. Perfect. Great. Nice. Probably the green guy just died, I assume. Okay! Keep it up! Neat! Ten more! Nice! Challenge yourself! Okay! Come on! Yes. You can do it! Yes! Great! Excellent! Five more! Well done! Keep it up! Three! Good job! Two! Chance. Wait, what comes after the plank? Oh, the pedal rush again. Okay. Oh, hey, look, we got 100 calories. Look at that. That's good. Woo. Pull your knees in. Okay, that's pretty good. That's, that's pretty good. You should feel it in your stomach, not your arms. Okay. Hey. No! Don't just, oh, fuck you! And what? Why? Do you see how much health he just got back? Mate. That is bullshit. Leg scissors. Bullshit. Alright, let's kill the guy on the right then so we can't heal him like that. Cross your legs firmly. You stop that right now. You stop that right now. What is this? A tough one, but you can do it. Okay, we'll hit him with side press because that's our most powerful move. Okay, let's go. You can exercise your lower body while sitting. Get out of here. Fine work. Mister heals himself twice in a row. Well done. What kind of bullshit is this? Like, stuff like this is why we can't just bring any old exercise, why I, like, I pay attention to how much the attack power is for things. Because if we brought, like, some of the moves that, like, we haven't done in a long time, but don't have any, like, upgrades for, it would not work very well. 
against people like this. We just like chug smoothies like nobody's business. Okay, no healing. Fuck you! This is complete bullshit. Now select the skill. Where's where's my attack up? Attack power up. Yeah. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna drink some tomatoes. What's my most powerful move? 490? No, this. All right, let's go. Attack power up, strong move. Slowly twist to the left. Slowly return to the starting position. You should feel the targeted areas being worked. Okay, let's switch sides. Don't forget to switch legs. I need to use one of those smoothies that gives you an extra turn if he heals again. Slowly return to the starting position. Focus on your floor. Do not heal. What are you doing? A tough one, but you can do it. What? Extra turn. Thanks. Four ninety. Okay. This is this is a special kind of bowl. Only bend to the left. Perfect. Lower a little more. Don't let your raised foot touch your supporting leg's knee. See that? No, right there. Like I don't understand how your foot is supposed to be on your thigh but not touching your knee. What? Okay, let's switch sides. Don't forget to switch legs. Slowly bend to the right. Slowly return to the starting point. Remember to breathe. Then we get an extra turn. Smoothies help you keep going. So we can't heal. All right, ring raise combo probably is our next best. Yeah, okay. Ring raise combo. I swear to God, if I do this and it doesn't like quite kill him, and then he heals to full health, I will be so mad. Think we got it. There we go. Wow. Your sweat is so shiny and beautiful. Yeah, sure it is, Ring. And my frustration is immense. Oh. Got that skill point though, so I can buy that upgrade. That's what I call pumped up. Persimmon smoothie. Doubles XP. Will I get? Okay, now we're done. Oh. That was a good day's work of infuriation adventure. 29 and a little bit more minutes. 113 calories burned and total distance Bob 34. 39 planks. And uh, 34 squats. Okay. Let's uh, let's cool down, shall we? Let's begin our static stretching. You won't need the ring con. 
Be mindful of your body yeah. and stretch within the range of he your ability. Like four times in a row. Spread your feet, raise both Three, hands, four? and hold I don't know, your left wrist. While pulling on your wrist, tilt to the right and stretch your side. Eat. Return to your original position, Ugh. switch hands, and bend the other way. Anyone else just like make those noises when they bend like this? Oh. Don't hold your breath. Feel that stretch in your side? Bring yourself back slowly. Raise both arms and pull down on your left elbow. Stretch your upper arms while pulling your elbow downward. Now do the same on the opposite side. Be careful not to let your upper body tilt to the side. Bring yourself back slowly. Put your right foot forward and cross your legs. Bend your body forward and stretch the back of your left leg. Hold it like that for a little longer. One day I'll be able to touch my toes. Straighten One up day. and switch legs. Stretch the opposite side as well. Breathe slowly as you hold. Slowly straighten up, bit by bit, starting from your lower back. Put your right leg forward and put your hands on your hips. Bend your right knee and stretch out your left calf. Now switch legs. If you're less flexible, it's okay if your heel goes off the ground. I feel like you feel the stretch a lot better if you keep your heel on the ground, though. Bring yourself back slowly. Rotate your hands behind your back and grasp your left wrist. While pulling your wrist to the right, lower your neck the same way. I assume this is supposed to stretch your shoulder. Bring your neck back up and stretch in the opposite or direction shoulder as and well. neck, probably. Focus on stretching all the way from your neck to each shoulder. Bring yourself back slowly. And your stretching is complete. Good right, job. Taylor. There you go. All right, the tip of the day, sodium. Sodium is involved in your body regulation of both blood pressure and blood volume. Required for your nerves and muscles to work correctly. Sodium also is found naturally in most foods. Like Subway. There's a lot of sodium in Subway. Alright, anyhow. So, that's that. Uh, Harvestella is not done yet. Paused. Are you kidding me? Are you telling me that Ring Fit uses... Oh. Alright, well, that's gonna finish downloading. I wanna take a quick break to, uh, you know, wipe sweat off. Um, wipe sweat off, get something to drink in me, and then, uh... And then hopefully that thing will be done. I mean, it says five minutes, which is a bit longer. Um, we could play a single battle of Aegis Rim, maybe. We'll uh, we'll see. But I will be I'll be back in a minute. So hey, not because this might you know take hopefully less time than uh, than it says. Oh, two minutes. Yeah, I'm gonna press that horrible button that says run ad break 
Because I think if I do that, it means that anyone who joins won't get an ad, I think. I think that's what it does. So I'm gonna press that and wait for it to do something, <laughs> I guess. And, uh, and then I'll be back, all right? 